And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Frostbite, our first deck of the day. Y'all know how much I, I like this deck. I think Freljord is probably the most underrated region, in my opinion. I have a lot of success with Freljord and, and just a lot of fun playing Freljord decks. Um, this one here is just probably my tried and true, the deck that I've uh, probably played the most and enjoy the most from the... Uh, from the entirety of the new set uh, coming out. Um, but yeah, you know, we played it a bunch. We played it, you know, six days ago. It's just it's just a deck I like to play, you know, like once a week um, about because it's, it's just a fun one to play. You know, it gets, you know, a lot of people are like, how, how can I play Ash? Because, you know, we got some uh, players got some free Ashes from the login rewards. And here we got one Katarina and two Sejuani's as our other champions. And it's really named Sejuani Frostbite because, I mean, really this is more, you know, this is definitely an Ash deck. Like, Ash is the card that the whole deck revolves around. But just whenever the set was brand new, you know, Sejuani is brand new, so just named it that. But Sejuani and Caught in the Cold are the only actual new cards in the deck. Alright, but anyway, let's, let's play some games. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked, like we always do. Let's go have some fun. I'm trying out a new uh, mic placement. It's farther away from me. So y'all can let me know even, and y'all on YouTube also let me know if this mic placement uh, works just fine. We're in Mulligan 1 Legion Drummer. It's not a card I need to of, you know, so we're going to curve here. Hearth Guard is not a bad thing to have at the top end. But I'll still replace it for now. Omenhawk on turn two. Don't know much, do ya? Right on time. The world so basically what I'm worried about is I'm worried about playing Rhyme Fang Wolf next turn and then my opponent playing Make It Rain with this Powder Keg and killing both of my things with just one Make It Rain. And therefore, I traded. Wish we had uh, some little trick, like a brittle steel or an elixir of iron. Ideally, like I could have gone Glory Seeker Omen Hawk this turn, but again, one make it rain would make me feel pretty bad. Safety will cost you. That's annoying. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. If that was a unit on top that got pumped by the Omen Hawk and they just stole it, it's annoying. I will unite the Frail Lord. I've worked up something special. That 
was a great make it rain for him. That was great. Continue without me. The, as you know, if you if you watch the last video of us playing this on Sunday, the Bilgewater decks have I been really my most gate. difficult matchup. So I respect you, Captain. But with that being said, it was. It was kind of tough not having any any kind of tricks there. I'll take my time. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. Suppose you want in on this. I've never seen a gangplank level up on turn six. Let's get to it. Spread your fire. Quite impressive. Oh, Quite impressive. Okay, lost our first one. Very just, you know, really efficient. There for our opponent, you know, the multiple one drops, all the, the two drops, and make a range. Just everything they had was really, really efficient. Hey, Cranky Panda. Welcome to the stream. Alright, so I definitely like having this elixir of iron. Um, so Karma as focuses a little bit more on removal. I wonder if I actually mulligan Ash, which is not something you do normally. But against a control deck where I'm going to keep one of the two four mana cards, I'm going to keep the one that gives me card advantage with the Babbling Bjerg over my finisher, so to say, with the Ash. This is not a good Icefield Archer matchup. I don't really like this card in this matchup. Static Shock is just such a problem. Ideal. Spirit gives to those who listen. We're on their yeah. side. I believe that's probably ideal. Especially if they have like static shock also. Man, what a killer. So I can save this with Elixir of Iron, but it's also it's kind of like to what end? gonna die very easily the next turn. I'd rather save things that are more important. We spent eight mana by turn three. So that's fairly good. I will unite the frail yard. And that's why we have elixir virus. Saved him for that. That was a good save. Triferian. 
Covenant's hand's looking very ideal. Guide our allies, my friend. You know, after those great three turns, a jury rig and then a thermogenic beam on the next turn. A mystic shot and a thermogenic beam on the next turn. If you could point out what, what would be the best possible thing for our opponent to have every single turn. That's what they can. Perfect. It was right on my tail. Two mana truck. Two mana, draw two. Great. Clear your head. Let your instinct speak. Cast two spells again. No challengers for me to try to take out these Eye of the Dragons. It's not yet. I know a challenge when I see one. Yeah, Elixir of Iron is really good. The world awaits! Forward! Fortunately, we're facing the best Karma Ezreal hand you could possibly have. Is that Ezreal leveled up yet? No, that's six. I need just a moment. Don't really know which one's more valuable, the Glory Seeker or the Katarina. Kind of going back and forth on that. No going back. Blood for face me. This means that. You know, these can't kill anything by giving the 4-1 quick attack. We don't need to give the Glory Seeker quick attack. Because the Karma has zero power. For now. No one gets 
in my way. I want to draw like another uh, assessor. That's probably like the card that I want to draw the most. Another Tritarian assessor. Katarina can help me out. Keep them from getting a free mystic shot. Okay. Go. Let's see if let's see if we got this. They got four mana. If they just have one removal spell, like they can block two things. No, jury rig. They used a lot of removal earlier. Act with conviction. Yeah, just put the put the plus. Um, well, you can do it in chat. If you do, uh, just type exclamation point card and then the Fire. champion's name and then the, and then a plus, and you can see what the level about champions do. So what they do? Okay, they had another mystic shot. I'll show you how it's done. Watch, learn. So good chance I'm dead. How oh, they did the good game thing. I think that probably means they're gonna kill me. Just takes one get excited. Karma Ezreal hand I've ever seen in my life. I've played against that deck, you know, a hundred times. I mean, okay, since since the update, I haven't played against it as much. Probably, you know, 10, 15 times. But so that was just absolutely incredible. Definition of perfect. What's up, Saint Moi? I'm supposed to mulligan hearth guard. I really want to find tricks to play. Hearth guard is really good. And I and it's not like I need to find something early because I already have my turn one, two, and three mapped out. There we go, that's good. I'll burn for what I've done.
debating what, like, I was debating in my head to just not play Omen Hawk and save the one mana so I can have the one mana for Brittle Steel whenever I have, you know, like, go turn to Legion Drum or Rhyme Fang Wolf, Babbling Bjerg, and be able to use a um, Brittle Steel in combat during that period. They managed to pull off a combo where you had an unyielding Lux and then copied it with Dawn and Dusk. I'm one of the good guys, but not bad. <laughs> that is really good. Um, yeah, see, like, this is kind of the problem, right? Like, I want to play a three drop. I I still do. I'll play this three drop because because they're going to be tra trading if they attack with Miss. If they just attack, because of the trigger, they're going to be trading, and I'd rather my 3-2 trade than my 4-3. Set sail. Love ya. Yeah, so that how that works is um, the Unyielding Spirit says it can't die. So Ephemeral, you know, it says it dies at end of turn, but if it can't die, then it won't die at end of turn still. So the Unyielding Spirit keeps, it, keeps them from actually dying, so you actually make two more permanent copies of Lux. But yeah, I guess yeah, I guess it would still say ephemeral. It's just it's an ephemeral that can't die. Oh come on, they stole my hearth guard. Ugh. That's so rude. Up there in the mountains. I guess maybe they have like their own Omen Hawk or Hearth Guard or something, I guess. So I guess like the Omen Hawk's theirs. I guess it's possible that Hearth Guard was theirs too. Safety. I was kind of assuming it was mine, but. Could be theirs. Great brittle steel. Need to find Ash. Really like to draw Ash. Alright, can attack. Give the frostbite. I'm not greedy. My friends though. Three Yordle Grifters, and they all hit. Stop. We fight for one frail yord. They're getting me closer to Ash, I guess. I need just a moment. Oh, cut them apart. You're mine. 
Put him down to two. They're getting me closer to Ash. No. Good save 11 life. I'm just using all of my cards against me. Ugh, they're so good. Everybody living the dream today against me. Line up. Sure. Just living the dream. Just three Yordle Grifters that all hit, multiple pilfered goods. It's unreal. Good play by them not to attack. That was a really good play. Silvergood should take the bottom card, not the top card. Only the you could see that. Survive. I kind of feel like I should just take a random card. Thank you. 
Man, our opponents are just rolling so high. It's not that we've had like the worst luck or anything, it's just our opponents have had the absolute best luck. Everything has been completely ideal for them every single game. And it's just and that's really frustrating. And turn after turn after turn. Basically, how, how the spells work, or a way to think of the spells, is that Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. Sorry, a way to think of the spells is basically that you have priority. Before com like how it works before combat is you have priority. You you can do one thing. Um, you know that can be playing, playing a creature from your hand. That can be attacking. That can be your priority. That or that can be playing a slow spell or a fast spell. The only thing that doesn't take your priority is a burst spell. And so if you want to. If you want to play a burst spell, you can do that, and it does not take your priority. And then you can do something else also. But once once you do any of those things, then the priority goes to the other person, and then they have priority, and then they get to do, you know, whatever they want. They can do any of, any of those things. Of course, if, if they don't have the attack token, they, they can't go to attack, but, um, you know, then they get to do stuff. And then in combat, um, you know, it's the same kind of thing. The the once somebody goes to attackers and attacks with everything, then the other player is, you know, the other player gets the uh, priority next because you know the priority changes. I have my orders. Show them the might of Noxus! That's probably a bad sign for me. They're just going straight upstairs. Just gonna put this here. No backing down. to call themselves Trifarian. GG's. So playing the Hearthguard puts 5 power into play. Playing the Assessor plus the Omenhawk also puts 5 power into play.
am I doing wrong? Am I just losing all the games today? What am I doing wrong? This is a pretty good hand, like having these one mana spells to play. I'm not sure I actually do anything here, so I should probably do that. So I could brittle steal the Shadow Assassin to kill it. Yeah, we'll do that. The problem with doing that is I don't have a, you know, I don't have Elixir of Iron now available for this next turn, where I could really want it. Good, Gucci. Yeah, glad you're enjoying that. No going back. Not bad. So of course, if I play Ash, then they get to Blade's Edge and kill something, kill one of these two. And I'd rather Elixir of Iron and save them. Pass. I would think I want to save the Brittle Steel for Katarina. And well, I could have one of those trade with these, but. I definitely want to keep the Glory Seeker, right? Because we have Assessor. So it'd be I could trade Rhymefang Wolf for those, but we can probably do better with Rhymefang Wolf, especially with Ash. No, yeah, you, you do not need other spells on the stack before you cast spells. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Ugh, one mana short from Harsh Winds. One blade, one purpose. Two, this would be three, this would be four, I said be five, six.
they don't have any spells. We can attack for lethal. Um, playing stuff pre-combat is never really good against a Yone deck. Swiftly now. I'll show you how it's done. Basically, so I, I could Harsh Winds, flip my Ash, and then just not let them block and attack with all of this. It'd be lethal unless they have removal, but their deck's filled with removal. Like, yeah, like, they, they would have removal. Good. I was, I was expecting like a Will of Ionia. Something like that. But correct, yeah, burst speed does not take up your priority. So the reason why I did it that way, with having the Rhymefang Wolf challenge the Yasuo instead, even though it was not as safe against, yeah, against like Might as a card. The reason why I did it that way is because if they had Will of Ionia or, um, or another stun card, I wanted them stunning the Rhymefang Wolf or bouncing the Rhymefang Wolf and killing it. You know, like the Yasuo trigger was going to kill either one of these, and I wanted them to kill the Wolf, not kill my Trifarian Glory Seeker when I have another Assessor in hand. Basically, if it if it didn't work, which I did, I didn't think it was gonna work, but it, you know, if it works, it doesn't really matter which one you do. But if it doesn't work, I want the glory seeker still in play. Doing that then, because again, they're like a Yone deck that I don't want to play. I really don't want to play stuff before combat. Yeah, 
give in the Ash Quick Attack. Try to help against Trix. Ready yourself. Hawk gets done now. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. It was right on my tail. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Keep up. Sight firm. Guess I should have thrown out one of these crappier creatures to jump block with. So I have to block with all three things. So I have to just throw away two things. Center your spirit. Twirler is looking good. thing out of here. Our enemies cannot hide. Okay, so give it a barrier. Conflict is all in the mind. As the dragon will. Pretty sure I still have this. I guess I can just do the Se Sejuani. Yeah, I guess that works. It's <laughs> gonna do the two attacks with the, um, you know, the Katarina. This works also. They'll never know what killed Yeah, this deck doesn't level up Sejuani at all. I don't I don't think I've ever leveled up a Sejuani with all the games I've played with this deck.
kind of shows that five game stretches, you know, a deck that we've played and, and we've won a whole lot with this deck before, but five great game stretches, anything can happen. And there's some really frustrating games that we played um, with opponents that just kind of had it all. But that's going to happen, and that's going to happen with no matter what you play. Um, every deck, you know, you can you can win five in a row with, you can lose five in a row with. Um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of about it. Um, you know, our deck's not perfect, and the 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 um, the Bilgewater Plunder decks are, have been what I've struggled with the most because of just how much card advantage they have. That's been the uh, yeah, that's been the deck that I've struggled with the most. It, against but still besides that i've had a lot of success today not our day um yeah just one of those all right those y'all watching on youtube i know this wasn't a very good video i'm sorry you know just not lots of wins i know it's, it's more fun to watch um to watch all the wins but that's not how that's not how real life is you know real life isn't just you win every single one of your games and you just oh let me just show me winning all these games and that's just not how how real life is you, you're going to go through um you know winning streaks losing streaks um and it's okay just try to uh try to not tilt as much as i did <laughs> during those games and you know just try to uh keep level-headed and um you know focus on fighting through and uh doing your best for the next game all right uh no, hybrid down you're on an 06 losing streak dynamic you're gonna win the next one feel you're gonna get that get that next one and then it's gonna be you know all uphill from there i guess you'd say all downhill or it's gonna be all good from there anyway that's sejuani frostbite um those yeah so y'all on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments let me know uh you know if you're if you have endured tough losing streaks like this um you know anything that you do about that uh you know feel free to let me know about like what, what would you change for the um balance patch that's coming up in just a couple of days on monday we're gonna have a new balance patch um updated there too all right but anyway thanks for watching sejuani frostbite and i'll see you for the next video